Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the review for Godfather 2. That's that's 2. Godfather 2 is made by the people that made Godfather 1, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't really care. And also, I haven't seen the movie in the longest time. I remember when I was like 11 or 10 years old uh, when I saw it. And I was like, wow, that's the greatest movie. And I, I haven't watched it since. I don't know why. I only saw Godfather. Well, I saw Godfather 1. I saw Godfather 2 also. Uh, Godfather 3 I never saw, and I might see that one day. Uh, so the game, I don't know if it follows the story, I don't really remember that much, but it, the story is, it's okay, I mean, so far, I mean, the story ain't, that, I mean, it's not that much of a story, to be honest. I mean, all you have to do is take out crime lords, pretty much, that's all. Uh, so yeah, that's all you really do is take over businesses, and then when you're done taking over all the businesses in the whole city, you go after the crime lord. Or the Don, whatever. And then you beat the fuck out of them. Yeah, that's how you do it in Italy. Well, you're not in Italy. You're actually in New York in the beginning. Uh, but you're Italian. Italianos. Fuck you, asshole. Bendejo. Bend over and take it up the bendejo. That, that's, that's where that uh, word originated from. Bend over. Bendejo. I'm smart. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so you just beat the fuck out of him after you're done taking over all of his businesses. You know, just go up there, steal his business. Yeah, guess what? What, you work for me now? No, you're not. Bam, huh? What? Okay. Exactly. All right, back off. Give me money. All right. I have to pay for guards also. That's kind of weird also that you get maybe 1500 then you have to pay about 1000 for guards. I'm like... The guards don't even do anything. All they do is give you maybe like another 10 seconds of time to rush over there and kill everybody. The guards get raped. They don't help. You have to go send out your guys. And that's also one co cool thing about this game. I never played Godfather 1. But in this game, you have a family because you're in a, you're Don in the game, which is kind of cool. I think the first game, you actually had to actually work up to Don level. Uh, in this one, you're already a Don, which is cool. So you get the... Uh, get your family, you can have four guys in your family, and then you can promote them to higher classes and stuff. There's also cool little uh, promotion, I mean classes. Uh, there's safe cracker, uh, there's medic, there's like, engineer, there's explosive technician. I don't know if I said that right. And there, did I say safe cracker? No, I, I, I said safe cracker. What else? I said engineer, I said medic, I said safe cracker, I said explosives. What else? Oh, and brawler, there you go. There you go. Brawler, all it really does is take down big doors that have a something secret inside them, which is kind of cool. I mean, Brawler, of course, you just run up and like, hey, what's up, man? What? Bam! I'm Italian, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, yeah, the game's okay. I didn't care for it, to be honest. The driving, driving mechanics were a little weird. I mean, of course, the game is set in, I think, the 20s. So, of course... The cars aren't going to be the most revolutionary cars, but still, I mean, it's a game. Make them good. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Who do you don't you don't put bad driving mechanics on the day of my daughter's wedding. No. Yeah, that's bad. All right. So anyway, yeah, bad driving mechanics. To be honest, I mean the graphics are okay. They're not horrible. They're yeah, they're almost almost exactly the same as Godfather One. They I mean they spruced it up a little bit, but not much. I mean the character models still look like balls. Uh, the character I mean the car models they look alright. They look authentic for a Xbox game maybe. Uh, what else? I mean, just the environment. It just doesn't look that great. I mean the character models is a whole bunch of a whole bunch of the same person walking around, of course. I mean, it just like feels like a step back from GTA 4. Obviously, not supposed to be the big game like GTA 4 is, but still, I mean, come on. Obviously, they're gonna make a Godfather 3, maybe. I'm not sure. This one sold pretty good so far, uh, and I don't know how this ended because I did not finish the game. Okay, I will tell you that I did not finish it, but I got pretty far to uh, at least review it. Uh, because I'm going to return it later on and get Wolverine. Yeah, that game's badass. I played the demo. Freaking sweet. I want to get that so bad. Oh, I want to get that so bad. 
I'm going to play it once. I might do a walkthrough. I don't know. I probably won't. Uh, no one would want to see that. People only want to see walkthroughs of games that they never will ever play. Wanted never get, didn't even get that many views. Eat Lead got a lot of views because no one wants to play it. <laughs> it got lots of views. My highest view for that is like 800 or something. It's like crazy. Oh no, actually it's like a thousand and one hundred for the ending. That's freaking crazy. Um. So anyway, overall, Godfather 2 is not a bad game. I mean, it's fun. It's weird also. I mean, it's obvious bugs. It's not the greatest game, okay? It is not. So, let me see. If I, I mean, damn, it's hard to score this. I mean, I did not have that much fun, to be honest. But it's not bad. I just didn't have fun because I can't go snipe someone whenever the hell I want. If I shoot one guy, then about 15 policemen come and just beat the shit out of you. I mean, it's also cool. You can rob banks in the game, but you could do that in Saints Row, as I heard. I never played Saints Row. Uh, well, I played Saints Row once, but I never really got that far to rob a bank. I'm pretty sure you can rob a bank in Saints Row. You can rob a bank, you can uh, blow up buildings, you can uh, cut the uh, wiring out. There's strategies you could do to take over these places, like cut the wires and get it all dark so you could make everybody come out at once and just shoot them right there. Or you could just blow up the whole fucking building. That's, <laughs> that's great. Or you could go through a secret entrance or just blow up a side of the building, go through there and start... <laughs> you could drive a, a car straight through like and kill like maybe three guards that are outside you could do a whole bunch of strategies like I I had fun with that I didn't have that much fun with everything else I mean the family systems kinda cool it's neat very neat actually uh, and the guys in the game uh, you, you like obviously the guy you work with I mean the guy you play as you, you start a little like him I mean you get to actually you know make your guy and that would be actually kind of cool because you get to make your guy whenever you want you, you get a chance to make your guy in the beginning but you also can like uh, transform him during the whole game that'd be funny if uh, the cops were coming and uh, you just want to get a quick getaway so you just like go behind a building and just oh and now I, I look like Jerry Leno or something uh, <laughs> Jay Leno I'm sorry <laughs> that'd be weird look uh, anyway, I don't know where I come with this. Anyway, I have to give it a mediocre score. I do. I mean, bad graphics. I, I'll say it, bad graphics. I mean, bad ca uh, driving mechanics. Okay, gunplay. Okay, not great. Um, cool family settings. So overall, it doesn't make a great game. If I have to give it a score, and let's see my scoring. I'll have I'll have to give it a I have to give it a high peasant I, I will probably like a 6.75 that's exactly what I'll give it uh high peasant I mean it's good for rental maybe and it's kind of short I can tell because I'm already halfway done and I only been playing for about three and a half hours so I can tell it's kind of short unless the last uh crime lord you have to get is a uh, very hard anyway I can tell it's short I heard it was pretty short anyway. Get it. I mean, get it if you really love the first one, or get or rent it if you didn't love the first one. You just like GTA games. This is still a, a decent one, all right. It's decent. It's better than most of them besides Saints Row. Saints Row is in its own league, as I heard. Anyway, I'll go rent that one day. Anyway, that's all I really got to say. So thanks and bye. Bye.